I got my coffee cup. It's been a really, really pretty good week. I've been doing a lot of conferences over the last few weeks. It is conference season. And I've got natural light. It's spring. I am so excited. Welcome to the spring. So if it goes up and down, that's what's going on. I actually don't have any lights on in this room. This is my front porch. And I, um... I love the natural light. So this is where we're at. So I apologize for the crazy lighting. My setup isn't superior to a lot of the other YouTubers out there, but we make do. <clears throat> so it's more about the information that you get, hopefully, and less about the perfect lighting. So we're going to talk about the new version of Right Start that's coming out. So as people are looking at different math curriculums and wondering what's out there and what's going on, um, they also hear you know, there's, a, there's a complication that comes with try to sift through everything. So I want to kind of get you an explanation on the right um, path as to what's going on with Right Start. Right Start works from kindergarten-ish, even preschool, all the way up to about a middle school level. Every child is going to progress differently. We are not separated into grade one, grade two, grade three. We are going to talk about the different versions that Dr. Cotter is creating. And she's, I shouldn't say different versions, she's coming out with an updated version of all the curriculum, which I am really excited about, super, super excited about, and a little bit jealous <clears throat> because she's releasing one a year, and they are being released one year behind my youngest. So the first version is so good, and then it was like, oh, the second version, and I'm missing it. But that's okay. The first version is just possible. But I want to just give you an example of the two different versions. I do have a copy of Level B. Level A would be ish kindergarten. People do not just say, my kid's in kindergarten, grab it and walk away. We, the people at the booths need to talk to you about what version really your child is, is in. Typically, they're going to be put in a kind of the middle somewhere. And then you need to decide and have the discussion, do we want to back it up? and take it slower or do we want to if we're almost done with level B maybe we just start with C and kind of fill in what are we gonna do so this one was used <laughs> I drink coffee <laughs> I never resell my books because even though you don't write in them oh they're so destroyed so this is level B so it is if we just turn to a level this is what a lesson would look like Okay, as far as layout, just getting a general idea of layout. The new version, this is lesson 10, did it? No, I did, of course. I'm like, oh, maybe I've actually, we'll just skip to lesson 13 a little bit. This is the new layout. Can you see me looking through the little thing? <laughs> okay, so this is the new layout. It's just what I love about this new layout is this explanation section because we do things differently and I'll get into how and why in a different video. But when you're doing math, you are going to be saying things different to your children. And that is very different from mom and dad. Typically, we teach, like I talked about in my other video, how we learn. That's just how we just automatically default, okay? And then part of my homeschool journey has been so fabulous because I'm rethinking and re-criticizing, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. That didn't work for me. I need to find a different way to teach. And this is it, but it's still not easy as mom and dad to do things differently than you've been taught. She talks you through it step by step. Now, a couple different things about the new version, and we will let you, let you go from today. Dr. Cotter wrote the original version over 10 years ago. And so does two plus two still equal four? Yes. Basic, those basic things haven't changed, but she has been researching over the last 10 years and she is just an amazing woman. If she comes to a conference near you, and even if you used to write start or not, you need to go talk to her because she is just an amazing wealth of information. And she is one of those people that's always, always reading and absorbing and seeking. And so she has used 10 years worth of research and notes that she's been doing and um, wanting to include all of these new ways that she knows and has learned how your children understand mathematical concepts in their brain. Some of the 
basic things. Like she'll tell me something and she's like, did you realize this? And it seemed to me in a basic, that's very basic. Okay, yeah. But you start thinking about it and you're like, oh, wait a minute, that is brilliant because I didn't ever think about it that way. And if you teach your child like that, in that very basic sense, they're gonna understand this and that. So that's what she wants to include in these new cur curriculums. Another thing that's really important is that she has been using a lot of the criticisms and a lot of the praises from the original curriculum, and she's been including them. So <clears throat> the um, one of the criticisms with the original curriculum is level C and level D were way too big to fit in a year. And even though we encourage parents, just take it at your kid's pace. You do not have to start in September and end in May and cram it all in. Parents want that. Par really, they don't want to cram it, but they want to be able to have a beginning at the beginning of their school year, which seems to typically still revolve around the public school, which is fine. But to try to get it all done at the end of the school year and have that check mark done and, and be ready. So Dr. Cotter has listened to that. She's now including a lot easier, a lot better, and actually well within a year. So if you take a few days off, you can fit it into a school year. So using that update, and they're constantly, as they're rewriting this, filling in some holes, not some holes, but filling in some explanation gaps where parents now can get a big picture. Those explanations are fabulous because now she's giving parents a big picture. This is why we're doing it this way, because down the line, we're gonna be doing this. And you're like, oh, in the original version, you just did it. And you're like, why am I doing this? Okay. And a little while later, you're like, oh my goodness, she's brilliant. But it just gives you that ahead of time. Now, instead of making you kind of try to figure it out. So those are the differences or some few differences between the first version and the second version. They're called RS1 or Right Start 1 and RS2 or Right Start 2. So if you're looking at a different version, level D will be coming out in the fall of 2015, which is this fall. So A, B, and C have been written. D will be coming out in the fall. And from there, E will be released in 2016. And F, which is a new level, will be released in 2017. Remember how I told you she took C and she shrunk it down? Well, now D is going to start there and move on. And then we're going to need an F at the end to basically fill in all the information now. So it's going to have an extra addition level um, put in there, which then will bring us through kindergarten. And by the time we get through F, they'll be through fifth grade. And then we have a middle school bridge curriculum that bridges that gap between elementary school and upper math. All right, so there we go in a nutshell. <laughs> it it's so much longer than I wanted it to be I'm sorry I will um I hopefully will keep it within five six minutes in the future um hopefully with um the the different versions as explained it was worth the extra minutes I really appreciate you guys um stopping in on my front porch while I talk to you about math you can do math I just wanted to give you a little bit a real quick before you leave if you are a struggling math learner yourself you can teach your children math you can do it and it's so important for you to teach your children math and not to have a video teaching your children math. It's so important. I'll get into that more later. Um, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Say hi. Hello. Say hello. This is my daughter. She's my oldest. Let's go <laughs> She's the whole reason that we have school. Ha ha ha. Well, your fault.